Hi Cancer, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising Sign Cancer, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, <clears throat> before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you in your path to your highest vibrational good. So remember these are general readings and not everything is going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine and you should always use your own discernment. So this week your key to the week card is the world card. <coughs> Excuse me. Who are your people? Who is your tribe? Who are the people that you should be connecting with? You, you know, and for some of you, this might be literally in your locality. This week, you could be connecting to new people, to new groups in some way, shape or form. For some of you, this will be in the digital sphere, online, right? Maybe you're joining a new community. Maybe you're connecting to new people in some way, shape or form. Now, the other thing with the world card, very often, this represents something coming full cycle and us stepping off that last plateau onto a whole new level. And I feel like for you, Cancer, this is about you becoming a big fish in a, in, uh, or rather this is about your, you're not shrinking, <clears throat> right but when you take a, a big fish out of a little pond and you put them in the ocean suddenly they realize wow there's so much more for me to see and to do and I kind of get the feeling that this week that's what's taking place for you you're going to get a really strong or clear idea of wow okay you know what there's this whole untapped resource uh, a whole strata of resources that I haven't even uh, begun to look at or, or delve into right I'm excited about this for myself because obviously this is my moon sign so I'm like mm, okay we'll see how this shapes up for your um before we get into it, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and this resonates, hit the subscribe button. Your foundation card for the week ahead is the Ten of Pentacles. I will take that, I will take that, I will take it all day long. You've got this with the world card, right? So for some of you, this is about your familial ties, the people that you love, the people that you care about. There could be powerful connections in that group this week. There could just as easily be you forging new links. Now, this could also take a very practical and powerful turn for your finances, your money, and your resources. Another way that this could show up for you as well, um, in a lot of ways, and I actually really like this, um, it suggests that when it comes to your finances and your resources, something comes full circle. This week you get the payout. This week you get the tangible result for the efforts that you've already put in. All right, so um, if you are, uh, for your actions and options rather, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. I'm lying, this is the Queen of Wands. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, and in the fire sector. So this is really interesting. So this week, there's a lot of action taking place. For some of you, this could you be you leaving certain groups. For some of you, this could be you checking out of certain groups, certain ties, certain associations for any number of reasons. We're seeing this left and right at the moment, you know, between people that will and won't wear masks anymore, between people that will and won't get the, the, the jab. And it's just ridiculous. There's so much dissent going on this week. And, you know, being a Cancerian, this can really hurt you in the heart space, right? Because you're naturally uh, empathic. You're naturally emotional and attuned to not only, you know, your own family's uh, emotions, but the collective emotions as well. And so this week, I invite you to build more of a force field around yourself, your heart and your emotions, rather than cutting people off. Because uh, this week there might be a, a you know what, fuck it, I'm out, I, I don't want that connection anymore. And you know, if it has to go, then it has to go. Only you can decide that for your life. But if you are cutting your nose off to spite your face or pulling yourself out of something unnecessarily, 
um, for the sake of uh, winning an argument or whatever. That This week I would look at that. If you can't reconcile it, then you know what, maybe it is time to move on. I say this as well because that Queen of Wands is going to see you set in some very clear boundaries this week and I think that's going to be important for your... Um, okay, this is interesting, for your... Um, communications and conversations you have the um the oh card you've got the temperance card gosh i don't know why that was so hard <laughs> this week with temperance in the communications so i mean especially with the world card for some of you this could literally be passing exams um this week you could be passing exams you could be completing school finishing a course of some sort very possible uh, with that queen of wands in the mix it looks like you are very focused on completing something this week and it's almost like you're putting the blinkers on so in a way i actually kind of like that queen of wands energy because maybe you're saying you know what this is more important and anything or anyone that gets in the way of me completing or culminating this um, is not for me and I kind of agree with you to a, to a certain point there right because when people can see that you're working really hard on something if they bring you unnecessary drama then they obviously don't care that much about your uh, you know your success because they're trying to hinder it right so this week if it's something like that yes you you have my absolute blessing to you know go full-on pincers on those bitches um, you've got the temperance card here with the queen of wands so a sagittarius woman may feature for you this week in some way shape or form um very very possible um you know and this again this could be somebody in or within your community or your tribe uh, for those of you that work for somebody else um, this week, you've got to be really careful with the office water cooler talk, right? You know, when everyone's stood around and having their natter and stuff. I really feel like this week, someone's going to try to bring you into some sort of gossip or they're probably going to be... I feel like somebody's trying to talk crap about somebody else and maybe inadvertently you get drawn into this. Try to be a bit more conscious than that, all right, so that you just I, I don't know why but there's something very it might end up spilling out right and you you might end up not even realizing that what you've said gets back to this person and it could just become more than you you really want it to all right um the other thing is for those of you that are um business owners entrepreneurs solopreneurs people that work for themselves there's something here this week that suggests that you are um preparing for a new uh, a new level of something maybe maybe this is a new course that you're launching maybe this is a new um, community that you're connecting to or with maybe this is you uh, putting together something that is a big project that is now ready to see the light of day um, because you've got that temperance card there it does look like it's going to take a lot of your um, not just consideration but a lot of your time your energy your inner resources and you might find that this new thing grows legs and before you know it you're like okay now I have to balance my time with the work time again for those of you that are retired or no longer working for any reason, um, give yourself some time to tap back into the spiritual aspect of life this week, all right? This would be a time to really um, dedicate some time to that aspect of your life. When it comes to your love and relations, you've got the strength card. So a Leo woman may feature for you this week as well in some way, shape or form. So lots of fire signs featuring for you guys this week. So it's interesting to see how that might shape up. Now, for those of you that are in partnerships or relationships, the strength card is really asking you or it kind of suggests that this week you will need to um, make yourself not only more available but this might be a week where something that you and your partner disagree on you're having to really stand your ground on it um and this isn't about fighting it's not about arguing it's about you know and this is it's a very healthy 
to have boundaries within your relationship. Your partner isn't, uh, you know, they're not your, your keeper. They're your partner for a reason. And sometimes you're gonna disagree on things. And at the point of this week really feels like there's something that you're not seeing eye to eye on. And it doesn't have to become brouhaha and drama. It just has to be you sticking to, no, this is how I feel about it. And I'm not budging from that point of view. Um, and I think this week it, it, it feels like you're, you know, you're in the right. And I think that you, you need to honor that. When it comes to those of you that are single, um, with the temperance card, you're weighing someone up this week. I feel like you're really scoping them out. Like, how does my heart feel around you? How does my mind feel around you? How do you treat me? Like, there's a lot of you really getting to grips with somebody this week, which I don't think is a bad thing. Um, with the world card there infusing this though, there's almost like a question of how are you gonna fit into my life? How are you gonna fit into my world? Are you going to get on with my friends? You know, um, are you going to get on with my family? What do you think about this? Like, there's a lot of really get into grips with, hmm, is this my person or is this not my person? Then you've got the devil card. So we're three for four here. So this is going to be a very powerful week for you guys as well, which kind of makes sense because even though the full moon is in the sign of Aquarius, it is the moon and you're ruled by the moon. So you're gonna, you always feel the lunar transits more than most, right? Um, which, you know, I don't care. I, I love it. I love being a, a, a lunar child um, and I will forever love that. It's, it's one of the things that I believe um, has truly brought so many blessings into my life. So, you know, enough of, <laughs> enough of me. Uh, for your money and materials, you've got the devil card is underneath the temperance card. That is some shit, right? I'm just gonna be honest with you. That could potentially see you being drawn into something, tied to something that could have uh, either a financial implication. Um, I would advise against any sort of big purchases this week when it comes to like impulse buying. Uh, I would also say that this week when it comes to your physical health and vitality, this week you you know you could overdo it um especially for those of you that are drinkers especially for those of you that are um you know like me sugar fiends <laughs> um, I, I have a sweet tooth unfortunately uh, and it's something that i really have to battle and i'm like come on um slowly but surely getting getting used to it spirulina really helps apparently um i'm not a medical professional i can't give you that kind of advice but this week whatever your vices are could really get the better of you um, and you could be doing that as a way to put a salve on whatever it is that's going on for you. So just be aware that that is definitely going to be floating around. And then for your home and environment, this week, <laughs> when it comes to the money, when it comes to the home, you could just be spent. It's like, no, I have to have the best one and I don't care what it costs. And then at some point later on, you might be like, oh, crap, I, I kind of wish I hadn't you know, had to have the best one. Um, just something to think about. So for your full moon, human design oracle deck card, for your uh, full moon message, you have the gate 18 and perfection, right? So this card in a lot of ways, not only reminds us that there's no such thing as perfection, but it also reminds us that being a workaholic doesn't always make us produce our best work, right? So yes, work hard, but when you're forcing yourself to work, you're not producing your best stuff. You're not giving you, you know the most of you because there's a sense that even if it's only you putting yourself under that scrutiny, it's you that's creating that um, the duress that you feel like you're uh, you know this has to be right it has to be good it has to be da -da 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 -da. like you could feel that this week so just be aware that that energy is going to be floating around as well with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and i'll see you soon